currently raising over $2 million to give to the Native American nations that are near them. The Navajo and Hopi tribes have been hit hard with the coronavirus, which is why Ireland is returning the favor that the tribes gave to them over 170 years ago. Back in 1847, the Choctaw Nation sent $170 over to Ireland during the Great Famine. The people of Ireland feel that this is the time to pay these nations back for what they've done for their country in hopes of spreading the good and continuing to pay it forward. President Trump has also stated that the Navajo Nation would receive $600 million in funding. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. The Onondaga County Sheriff's Office paid tribute to nurses today in light of the National Nursing Day. Police lined up their patrol cruisers at the top of the Upstate University Hospital parking garage in the shape of a heart, flicking their lights that created a beautiful tribute. With the pandemic putting the most stress on the, on the medical professions, this tribute meant so much. To know that the community is behind us and that they are feeling the impact of this just means an enormous amount, said Nancy Page, the Chief Nursing Officer at Upstate. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So obviously because there is no school, there is very few announcements. However, there are still a few. One of them being that for all senior athletes, there is a new opportunity to have your voice heard on the ESN Athletics Twitter and Instagram page. All you have to do is just go on to your student email and answer a few questions. So make sure that you do that, and yeah. Today we will have mostly clear skies with a high of 56. Tomorrow there will be some rain showers with a high of 56. Friday there will be a chance of snow, unfortunately, with a high of 47. Saturday and Sunday there will be possible snow showers with highs of 42 and 48. Monday there will be a high of 50 with mostly cloudy skies. Tuesday, there will be mixed sun and clouds with a high of 48. I'm Gabby with your weather. On Wednesday, the NFL sent out a memo to all 32 teams that laid out protocols for a gradual reopening, beginning with select staff members and eventually expanding to players. The memo states that all protocols have to be in place by May 15th. After teams meet the protocols, they will be advised on when they can open. The NBA is hosting a call Friday for any and all players in the league who have any questions or concerns. Friday is also the day that the league has permitted teams to reopen practice facilities for voluntary social distance workouts. And I'm John, Major Sports. I am most irritated with people who aren't listening to the scientists in this pandemic. I love them, but my children, they are pretty irritating, but I generally love them. Um, and who is, who is irritating me the most? Nobody. I would say probably people not taking the pandemic seriously. No one really. I'm stuck with three others and I've learned that my kids make a lot of fun of me and also my wife joins in. Uh, how about uh, politicians? Honestly, no one's irritating me at my house, but I know if I was living at home as, you know, growing up in my household, I would be pretty irritated. I probably would be really irritated with my little brother and sister. I remember screaming at them a lot when I was a teenager, just trying to get my stuff done. So yeah, I know I scream, isn't that crazy? Chromebooks starting to wonder how far I could throw one of these things, you know, like get a discus ring or something like that, set a world record.